Welcome to Storytime with Miss LaPerry. Today's story is Tally O'Malley, written by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Cynthia Jabbar. The O'Malleys were ready to go on vacation. Almost ready, that is. Did you pack the beach towels, asked Dad. Did you lock the back door, asked Mom. Come on, Shamrock, get in, ordered Eric, pulling on the dog's leash. I can't find my sunglasses, said Nell. Bridget, everybody yelled. Hurry up or we'll never get there. Finally, they were on their way. They had been on the road for almost three hours when Eric grumbled. Aren't we ever going to get there? Ick! Shamrock's breathing on me, said Bridget. I can't find my baseball hat, said Nell. Why don't we play a tally game, asked Mom. First, they had to decide on something to count. Let's do cars, said Eric. He loved tally games because he almost always won. Okay, Mom agreed. Pick your colors. I take silver, said Eric. I take blue, said Bridget. How about you, Nell? Red, answered Nell. Red was her favorite color. Eric laughed. You always pick red and you never win, he said. Mom handed out paper and pencils. Do you remember how to play, Nell? asked Bridget. When you see a red car, you make a tally mark. Then make another one for each red car you see. When you're up to three, it will look like this. When you get to five, you make a little bundle so they're easy to count. This will be a 20-minute game, explained Mom. Ready, set, go! There's a silver one, said Eric immediately, and two more over there. I see a blue one, said Bridget, and another one right behind it. Ha! I see a red one, said Nell. Nell, there's another, said Dad. No helping, yelled Eric. Time's up, said Mom, just as they pulled into a rest stop for lunch. Dad took Shamrock for a walk while they counted up their tally marks. I win, Eric shouted. I always win. You get to wear the tally medal, said Mom. The medal was really a plastic shamrock that Dad had given the dog on her first birthday. You think you're so great, whined Bridget. Tally O'Malley. The line for hamburgers was very long. I'm hungry, said Bridget. I want ice cream, said Nell. Can I play video games, asked Eric. Let's play another tally game, said Dad. We can't count cars here, said Bridget. Let's do t-shirts. Yellow, called Eric. Green, called Bridget. Red, called Nell. Eric laughed. Red never wins, he said. The line moved forward an inch at a time. They counted every t-shirt they could see. It's almost our turn, said Dad. Game's over. Add up your marks. I win, Bridget shouted. Mom took the shamrock medal from Eric and placed it around Bridget's neck. You won't have the tally medal for long, said Eric. Oh yeah, tally O'Malley, Bridget replied. Everyone was full after lunch. Eric, Bridget, and Nell slept most of the rest of the way to the beach. Finally, they arrived. They had just gone out of the car when they heard a train whistle in the distance. Let's count the train cars, said Eric. I picked the black ones. I take gray, said Bridget. Do you want red again, Nell? Yes, said Nell. It's my favorite. You never learn, said Eric. There's the engine, said Eric. It's black, one for me. No fair, said Bridget. An engine's not a car. 
a red car went by, then another, then another. The next car was red too, and the next one. The train rattled past. Finally, the caboose went by. It was red. There were hardly any black cars, said Eric. Or gray cars either, said Bridget. Let's see those tally sheets, said Mom. Nell wins. Bridget handed the shamrock mail to Nell. Then she noticed the sign near the tracks. Look at that, she said. That's why Nell won. Hey, Nell, that's not fair, said Eric. It seems fair to me, said Nell. So from now on, I want you to call me Tally O'Malley. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.